Good morning, sir. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you today? I think I'll get a small coffee. Would you like any special creamers with that? Or would you be interested in trying our new blueberry bubble bop, pinkie pie, apple jack, twilight sparkle, pink, dragon fruit, mongoose flavor? You know, that sounds pretty tempting, but I like my coffee how I like my women. Black? Nah, premature. Hey, yo, Rico. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clock out. Mm -hmm. Your lips are so big, they take up 200% of your face. Ain't your mom got an OnlyFans? Oh, so now you wanna be quiet. You know, if I buy her content, I'm basically supporting your family. I put the food on the table. I'm the one paying the bills. You know, I don't know what's funnier. The fact that you should be calling me daddy or that she already has been. Yo, dog, you mind getting me something to drink? I'm kind of thirsty. Yeah, I got you, bro. What do you want? Whatever you got is fine. Doesn't really matter. I'm not really a picky guy, you know? All right, I'll get you a bottle of water. Ew. Oh, I see. You're one of those bougie people who don't drink bottled water. Sorry I'm not fancy enough for you, bro. I just gave you some tap water instead. Ugh, that's even worse. All right, bro, what kind of water do you want? Oh, I don't drink water. You got any soda? Yeah. Yeah, I got soda. All right, good, good. Uh, give me a gallon of Coca-Cola, please. All right. So, like, you, you just never drink water? Nah, bro, it's disgusting. You'll never catch me drinking water. Like, like never. Never, ever. Like, never, ever, never, ever. Never, ever, ever, never. Like, ever, 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 never, never, ever. Ever, never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever, never, never. All right. What color is your piss? What? When you go pee... What color comes out? Uh, the same color as everybody else. And what color is that? Black. Sometimes purple. Or gray. Yo, you need to drink water, bro. Next thing you gonna tell me you don't eat vegetables. What's that? Oh, hell no. I just got my report card back and I got an F in Spanish, dog. My mom finna beat me until there's nothing left. Ain't no way you failing Spanish, bro. That's like one of the easiest languages to learn. Nah, bro, I suck at Spanish. It's just too complex for me. I couldn't even understand Dora the Explorer when we'd watch it as kids. Dora the Explorer was like 70% English. That's how bad I am. Dog, you really should've just came to me for help. I had like one of the highest grades in that Spanish class. Ain't no way, bro. Stop playing with bro, me. Bro, I'm like the Shakespeare of Spanish. Spanish, you know, uh, they have a they have a nickname for me in the Spanish community. They call me El Negro. No way. What does that mean? I don't know. It's probably French or something. All right. So can you help me out? There's only one thing you need to learn if you want to speak Spanish, and that is to say gracias after every sentence. Gracias. Gracias. Isn't it gracias? I'm sorry. Who's teaching who right now? My fault. I just thought that's how you were supposed to say it. And that, my friend, is why you're failing the class. But like I said, just say gracias after every sentence. Like, uh, hey, I'm going to the store. Gracias. It's basically Spanish. Uh, my cat just died. Gracias. Hey, that wasn't bad. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Of course, gracias. It's a good thing you had a good teacher gracias yo am i really speaking spanish gracias we're literally having a full conversation in spanish gracias i don't know how you failed that class gracias you really should have the same grade as me in that class gracias wait so what grade did you get in that class gracias i had a 37 percent in that class you got a 37 yeah but 37 in spanish is 100 in english so you oh, know that makes sense that makes sense wait if my girl is 18 in English, how old is she in Spanish? Mm. If I told you, I'd have to report you to the police. So for your sake, I'm not going to tell you just to save you. Gracias. So you need to do your taxes or else you could get into some trouble with the IRS. Oh, uh, Y equals MX plus B. And it says here that you're so far in debt that your bank account doesn't even have a numerical value. Instead of giving an actual number, it just says... Nah, fam. I know this one. Uh, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Your credit score is the same as a Dorito. Ah, that's a tricky one. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Plus the Pythagorean theorem. You also need to set up a 401k, your car insurance, your life insurance, your black insurance. And even y equals MX plus B. Yeah, Y equals MX plus B. Because <laughs> if you look right here, I take two fingers up and then put two more. So two plus two equals four and not five. It would have seemed that he has proven me wrong once again, but I've talked too much to back down now. There's only one thing more fragile than a newborn baby, my ego. That leaves me with only one option, 
gaslight. Bro, you're so stupid, dog. Like, two plus two equals five. You're honestly so dumb. Like, it, it's making me mad. Like, bro, like, what school did you go to, man? Like, oh my gosh, bro. This, this is why I don't hang out with you anymore. Bro, you're not gonna believe what I just witnessed today. If it has anything to do with the witch, I'm out. Nah, don't worry, bro. I know witches around today. But there still may be some sorcery involved. Oh. Yo, spill the beans, man. So I was roaming around the Amazonian Amazon jungle rainforest right behind the crib, and uh, I came across this tree. Nah, a tree, bro? Nah, don't play with me, dog. Nah, bro. Nah, that's not funny, man. Put it on your mama, dog. Say you swear. Bro, that wasn't even the part of the story. I was trying to flex. Oh, snap. My bad, bro. All right, continue. Yeah, so I looked at the tree, and I saw a bird. You're not gonna get all excited or anything? Why would I get excited about a bird? Nah, I just thought because of the way you reacted when I said I saw a tree and, and Nah, I've seen a bird before. Pretty sure everyone has. Anyways, I was looking at the bird and I started hearing voices and I was like, yo, who's there? And I realized no one was there. I saw him looking at the bird again and I realized the bird was talking. You mean like tweet tweet? Nah, he was speaking like a human, like with real words and stuff. Why aren't you like excited or freaking out or something? Oh, it's not that I'm not excited. It's just, I'm just a little concerned that you're starting to hear voices again. This wasn't in my head, bro. This is real life. That bird was talking. Yes, yes, the bird was talking. I heard you the first time. Either that bird can really speak English or I can talk to animals. That's your logical reasoning. Do, do you hear yourself right now? Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can hear. Go ahead and go take your medication. Okay. Hey, Timmy, how'd the trick-or-treating go? Dad, it was literally amazing. The best thing ever. We got some big candies and big chocolate bars. That's good, little man. Sounds like you had a lot of fun. You didn't go too far, did you? Nah, I stayed pretty close in the neighborhood. Except for this one house. It was it was pretty weird. What you mean? Like, like how weird? So basically, initially, first of all, the house was like really scary. And the guy's costume it was pretty bad. But I think he was trying to be a Hawaiian. Hawaiian? Hawaiian. Orion? Hawaiian. A guy named Ryan? Hawaiian. Like, whoa. Oh, a lion. Remind me to fire speech therapy teacher. I guess he wears that costume all the time because everybody calls him the Predator. The Predator. That's a lame nickname, bro. That sounds lame as hell, dog. So basically, initially, second of all, I knocked on his door and I was like, took a tweet and he opened it and he was like, so do you want a Twick or a tweet? And I already had a lot of tweets, so I just picked Twick this time. But then he said I had to go inside to get the Twick. You went inside a stranger's house for a trick. Of course not. I told him I don't go into random Swain's houses. That's my son. I taught you well. So I went in his backyard instead. And I don't know exactly what Twick he was trying to do, but I think he was trying to see what size my pants were. Why do you say that? Because he took mine off. Oh, Timmy not again bro you can't keep doing this dog and afterwards i was like this is taking way too long i'll just take the tweet instead oh thank god would he give you like a chocolate bar or something not exactly when i asked him for the tweet he looked at me and said i'll give you a treat all right little boy and then he gave me a homemade donut and he said he made the holes himself timmy this is the third year in a row you've fallen for this bro it's what do we find he said the donut was completely organic especially the glazed frosting Dad, what are you looking for? The receipt for your adoption papers. I'm taking you back. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down my underwear. Say less. What are you waiting for? You just said, if you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down my under. It was a joke. My fault. Uh, I don't really have any treats to give out, so do you want a trick? Mm, I don't know. How big is the cereal box? Huh? What? What cereal? You said tricks. You know, the cereal. Tricks are for kids. I don't have cereal, and you're not a kid. <laughs> Tell that to my girlfriend. I meant the part about the cereal. So what did you mean by trick? I was just gonna show you a magic trick. I bet, let me see it. All right, look into my eyes. Wally Kazam! Bro, nothing happened. Look down. Why, bro? Oh, my leg, my leg is gone. My leg, where's, where's my leg? I know, I'm good. Now check behind your back. What? Yo, how did you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets. Now watch this. Wally Kazam! Uh, I think you lost your magic, dog. Try giving me a high five. All right. Now check inside your shirt. Wow. I know, bro. You don't even have to say it. I'm awesome. All right, I got one last one for you. Wally Kazam. Say it again. I don't think that one worked. Check your pants. Why? Where are my balls? <laughs> Open your mouth. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Open your mouth so you can see the rest of the trick. I don't think I want to. Open wide. Mm -mm. 
Excuse me, are you the mechanic? Yes, sir, that's me. How can I help you, boss man? You see, my car is kind of broken. All right, what's the matter? Shit, I got like a throbbing pain in my left leg. It's probably because I was trying to hit that stanky leg, but I think I stank too hard. I meant with the car. Oh, yeah, so like uh, the, the AC's not working, and like when I try to turn on the radio, it, it won't turn on. Well, that's an easy fix. I get it done in like 30 minutes tops. Oh, and the seat recliner doesn't work either, and I can't roll the windows down. I don't know why. In the sunroof, it doesn't it doesn't pop open anymore. Really? That's slokey kind of weird. Yeah, and on top of that, I can't even really start the car either. Like, the, the keys they just they just don't work like they used to you know i don't even know why dang yeah i'm not gonna lie that's gonna take a little longer than i thought dog but oh, that's fine bro i got time all right then just uh go get your car and pull up over here and i'll see what i could do oh i got it right here hold on yeah here you go I don't really know like specifically what the problem is with the AC, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's something internal. Sir, what did you do to your car? It was nothing too crazy, really. I was just driving around, minding my business, and then boom! I swear that volcano came out of nowhere, bro. How did you crash into a volcano? I don't even know. It just popped out out of nowhere. Where were you driving? Volcano Mountain. But like I was saying with the AC and all, like that's really my main concern. Like you could try it, it just doesn't work. I don't know why. Yo, why isn't the AC turning on? That's what I'm saying. Yo, that's mad weird, bro. Right? Like, I couldn't figure out what the problem was. It's probably the confibulator. Type shit, type shit. Yo, bro, go ahead and hit that Dougie real quick. I'm gonna hit that Dougie. I'm gonna mm, hit it all kill right. Him. Mm. Kill him. Mm. Ooh, okay, mm. kill him. All right, why don't you hit that Nene for the one time? You want me to hit that Nene? I'll hit it all right. Mm. Mm. Kill him. Mm. Kill him. Okay, mm. kill him. All right, why don't you hit that stanky leg for old time's sake? You want me to hit that Millie Rock? I'll hit it all right. Oh. Mm. Kill him. Mm. Kill him. Mm. Kill him. Mm. <laughs> I said stanky leg though, but that's that's how Yeah, I, I heard you. I just thought, you know, we might just skip that one or whatever. Wait, know? why though? Do you not know how to do it? Nah, I know how to do it. I'm not a loser. Right, then do it. Go ahead and hit that stanky leg. Alright. I just uh Oh, kill him. It's not the best I ever seen, but that wasn't so bad, right? Alright, bro, you didn't have to fart. I didn't. What you mean? Do me a favor and hit that stanky leg one more time. You know it's not actually supposed to stink. You don't think I try to stop it? I would if I could. Is it like the way you're moving it or the direction? I don't or... even know, bro. I, it, I don't. I don't know. I can't stop. Wait, what if you try slowing it down? I guess I just stank too hard, bro. Right, do it in reverse now. Try speeding it up. It only made it worse. Yeah, we might have to take you to a doctor or something. Oh, that one was bad, bro. That one really stank. That wasn't my leg. I know. It's a nice book. Might have to rent it out. Where's the librarian? Hmm. Oh, uh, excuse me. Yes, I'd like to check out this book, please. And I was also wondering how long I have until I have to return it. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna take me a long time to read it. I'm only a level two reader. Is that a no on the book? You know, that's cool. I don't even really need to take it home. I'll just sit down and read it here. It's all right. <clears throat> Yo, buddy. Me? Yes, you. Uh, yes? Do me a favor and close that big ugly hole in your face you call a mouth before I kick you out my library. I was just clearing my throat. And I'ma clear you if I keep hearing noise coming out of that pothole. I mean your mouth, my fault. Dog, ain't no need for the disrespect. I'm just trying to read my book. Wanna talk about disrespect? What's disrespectful is you yapping around my library when people trying to read. I was trying to talk to you so I could read a book and now you violating for no reason. Keep talking and I'll violate your mom. If she asks nicely. Oh, oh. oh, you broke my nose. Yo. Oh. Yo, you too loud, dog. Yo, you might want to quiet down a little bit. People trying to read it here. It's pretty disrespectful oh. to the other people in the library. Oh. Sir. Oh, I need a doctor. Sir, can you lower your tone just a little bit? Oh, my face is broken. A little more. A little more. A little more. I can't hear myself think. How's everybody doing with the assignment so far? You good? Everybody good? All right, Jason, how you doing? Yeah, I'm actually about to finish. It wasn't really that hard. Good, good, good job. Good. What is that? My work? I mean, my handwriting's a little sloppy, but it's it's readable. No, what you're doing your work on. My notebook? Oh, okay, okay, just making sure. Why are you writing on it? Because that's what I use to do my work on. 
for the class. Okay, help me understand this real quick. Why aren't you using your binder for this class? Because I don't have one. Jason, why don't you have a binder for this class? Because it's way too big to fit in my bag. Then you get a bigger bag. I'm not buying a whole new bag just so I could get a binder. What, can you not afford it? If you're broke, just say that. I can spare you some change. Why do you want me to get a binder so bad? Because I clearly stated in the class requirementals that you need a binder. Why can't I just do my work on a notebook? Because it's not the same as a binder. What's the difference? It's not a binder. What's the problem with a notebook? It's not a binder. What makes a binder better than the notebook? It's a binder. I don't know what you're not understanding. You're acting as if a school shooter is just gonna randomly barge in here and say everybody put your binders in the air and if you don't have one i'm gonna blast your face off like dog just calm down chill out everybody put your binders in the air and if you don't have one i'm gonna blast your face off hey sir the guy you're looking for is right here he doesn't have a binder what i was sitting at the lunch table with the guys today and we we're doing a competition to see who could drink the milk cartons the fastest and i got third place bro oh, bro that's like a new record for you dog you should be celebrating right now do not hear me i said i got third place that's the worst place to be in i wish i got second bro don't you mean first place what kind of stupid question is that First is the worst. Oh yeah, first is the worst, second is the best, third is the one with the bomb on their chest. A what? A bomb, bro. What, uh, what, what, what bomb? You telling me you didn't disarm it yet? What you talking about, bro? There's no bomb on my chest. Look again. Bro, I think I know if there's a bomb. Oh my God, there's a bomb on my chest, bro. Yo, chill out, dog. I've been through this before. Just gotta stay calm and we'll disarm the bomb. All right, what do we do? How are we supposed to do this? You need to put in the right code and it'll automatically disarm the bomb. All right, what's the code? I forgot. Yo, you selling right now, bro. I'm finna die. Wait, let me think. Gosh. First is the worst. Second is the best. Third. One, two, three. All right, bet. I'm gonna do it. There's no keypad. Uh, Pringle sticks. We're gonna have to cut the right wire. All right, which one is it? I forgot. Gosh, bro. You know what? I'm just gonna pick whatever one I see. Wait. You got third place. Everybody knows number three is the color yellow. Cut the yellow wire. All right, bro. I'm finna do it. Whew. Whew. There's no wires. I'm sorry, bro. I don't know what to do. Yo, I'm gonna blow up, bro. Gosh. Bro, this is kind of heavy, bro. Let me put it down so I can think. Yeah, just put it on the ground for now. We gotta think of a way to get it off you. Yo, don't worry, bro. We're gonna figure it out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, this is my room. That's my bed. And yeah, that's pretty much it, dog. This is nice, dog. Real nice crib you got here. Yo, what's that? Well, that's just my global annihilation button. Why do you have a global annihilation button? It came with the crib, so I didn't really have a choice. But basically, if it's activated, it will annihilate everybody on Earth. Yo, that's crazy, bruh. I can't believe someone would make something like that. Yeah, it's extremely dangerous, so, you know, just don't press it. Yo, don't tell me what to do. What? I wasn't even gonna press it, so like, don't tell me not to. I'm just emphasizing how dangerous it is so you don't touch Yo, it. Yo, you're not the boss of me, man. Stop telling me what to do. I'm just being cautious so you don't press it and annihilate everybody. Well, I'll press it if I wanna press it. Ain't nobody tell me what to do. Okay, wait, 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 wait. If, if I tell you to press it, will you not press it? Stop! What are you doing? You just told me to press I it. I thought you'd do the opposite of what I say because you don't like people telling you what to do. Oh, you're confusing me, dog. Make up your mind. Okay, okay. Just, just don't touch it. wrong with you I told you don't tell me what to do you're actually insane gosh thank god it's a double tap activation button or else we'd all be dead gosh you already pressed it once so just don't touch it again yo i finally got a new job dog you telling me after six years you finally got out of mcdonald's yes sir no more flipping patties or serving mcflurries i had to level up you feel me okay okay i see you so what you working at like chick-fil-a or something or a cheesecake factory nah nasa NASA, NASA. I don't, I don't know any restaurants named, named NASA. That's because it's not a restaurant. I'm talking about NASA, like the NASA. Like the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. That That's who you work for. That's where you work. I mean, you could call it that, but like me and my crew and like everybody else that works there, we just call it NASA for sure. That's just a little inside joke. You got Not even 48 hours ago, you were serving four for four McNuggies to morbidly obese children in a C-class minimum wage restaurant. So excuse me if I get a little feisty when I ask this question. But how did you get a job at NASA? And what can I say, man? I'm smarter than I look. There's a lot you didn't know I was capable of. What do you even do? Well, I'm in charge of sending people to space. You know, I'd be like building the rockets type shit. Like, I'd be like working the schematics type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody who says schematics and type shit in the same sentence should not be sending anybody to space. Well, you don't think I'm smart enough to get into NASA? You're so stupid. You thought 9-11 happened in January. Bruh, at least I was smart enough to cheat on a test to get into NASA. You cheated your way into to nasa 
No. All right, bro, go back in there and tell him you quit your job before something bad happens. I can't do that, bro. I just set my first crew into space. Oh, my gosh. Relax, bro. I basically built the rocket to perfection, although there were a lot of extra pieces. What extra pieces? Nothing too crazy, just mainly this one right here. Dear God, I'm sorry for everything my friend has done. I apologize. You need to calm down, dog. If the rocket ship was going to fail and crash, it wouldn't... Yo, bro, I'm looking kind of hungry. You got anything to eat in here? To be honest, I don't really got real food in my crib. I only got cereal. That's all I need. All right, what kind of cereal do you want? You got Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Nah. You got Cocoa Puffs? Nah. What about Lucky Charms? Nah. Frosted Flakes? Nah. Honey Bunches of Oats? Nah. Then what do you have? All I got is Cheerios. Then why would you ask me what type of cereal do I want? I don't know. I was just, I was just trying to be polite. All right, whatever, dog. I'll just take the Cheerios. All right, what kind of milk do you want? Uh, the normal kind. Okay, but like which one though? I got skim, 2%, chocolate, strawberry, almond milk. You know almond milk's not real, right? The hell it ain't. It's in my fridge. No, I mean like the whole concept of it. Like you can milk a cow, but you, you can't milk an almond. Uh, yes, you can. That's why I have almond milk in my fridge okay but it's basically just almonds mixed with water so technically it's almond water not almond milk no i'm 100 percent sure that that's wrong and i'm 200 percent sure that you're supposed to milk it like a cow just admit that you're wrong already i know you know you can't milk an almond for the last time yes you can and i would know because i make it myself okay then how do you make it by milking almond once a week all right then show me all right bro yo almond come in here for a sec yo what do you want bro i'm tired all right bro this is my friend almond wait then how are you making all oh my god oh my god yo just got off the phone with jordan he was telling me he wanted to make plans with the gang so it was his friend group plus our friend group you down yeah i'm about when are we leaving? So, Jordan, we're gonna pick him up in, like, 25 minutes. In our car? I'm not sure that's gonna fit everybody. Well, I mean, it's a nine-seater, so if we squeeze real tight, we should be able to. How many people is it? Like, well, five of us, and there's seven of them, so that's, like... What are you doing? I'm just adding it up. Okay, but why are you using your phone? So I can add it up. You don't know what seven plus five is? I, I know what it is. I'm just... Making sure. Making sure of what? It's seven plus five. Just do it in your head. I mean, you can never be too careful these days, you know? Nah, you don't need this, bro. You're fine. Go ahead. Seven plus five right now. Yeah. Uh, pretty sure it's, um, it's, it's, it's like. Why are you using a calculator? Just making sure, just in case I made a mistake, you know? It's single digits. Yeah, but you can never be too careful, you know? Nah, you don't need this. Do it in your head. Seven plus five. Go. Yeah, uh, pretty sure it's, uh, it's like, uh, seven. My boy, I know that's not an iPad. I think I just forgot to carry the one, so I'm, I'm just checking just to make sure. Nah, you don't need this. Check in your head. Seven plus five. Go. Yeah, yeah, uh, pretty sure it's, uh, like, maybe, maybe it's around, uh, A Nintendo DS? Sometimes Luigi checks my work just, just to make sure. Again, you don't need this. Seven plus five. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, pretty sure it's, it's like, uh... Yo, yo, uh, seven plus five is... Nah, nah, give me that. D th this is crazy. This is not Jeopardy. You don't get to call a friend. Seven plus five. Go! Yeah, yeah, uh, pretty sure it's, uh, six, seven, eight. Oh, nah. Yo, I'm tired of people like you. I didn't even say anything. Y'all just pissed me off. What did I do? You're soft. All y'all are soft, man. What does that even mean? Y'all don't understand the struggle. What struggle? The hood. The projects. Sesame Street. Okay. You ever been shot before? At the doctor's office. When I was still living in the hood, I got shot 18 times in my left butt cheek. Congratulations. You know how much drugs I had to sell to make a living? I don't know, bro. Five? I can't sleep because I got PTSD from hearing all the gang banging that was going on next door. Why are you telling me this? Again. Because you're soft, dog. Okay. You know what? I should get you a piece. I'm not walking around with the blicky just to look tough. See, I knew you were scared, bro. You soft. <laughs> you ain't hood for real, dog. You know what? You're right. I'm soft. I'm privileged. Sorry I don't got to make cockroaches pay rent to live in my place so I can afford to not get kicked out by the landlord. Broke boy. Yo, yo, you, you, <clears throat> yo, you better watch your tone, little bro. For what? You gonna get your boys to jump me? Do it. I dare you. I'll get my gang. Their number is 911. I don't know who you think you're talking to like that. A street rat. You know what set I rep? The suburbs. Y'all out there buying blickies and Hellcats. Meanwhile, over here, we got real motion. <laughs> like what? Life insurance. Yeah. Although you may not need it, considering there's not much of a life to insure. And go ahead and moisturize them ashy knees. Pissing me off. You know what? I'm feeling charitable today, so I'm gonna spare some change. <laughs> Can't get no lotion, because you ain't got no motion. Broke boy. Yo, bro, do you want something to eat? Yes, actually. Uh, do you have any cereal? Yeah, I got Fruity O's, Fruit Loops, and Fruity Pebbles. Oh, wow, man. Do you got anything non-fruity related? Nah, I don't think so. You know, ever since I was a kid, I just always liked those flavors. I guess you could say I'm a fruity kind of guy. Actually, you know what?
know, I think I do have a box of Cocoa Puffs. Do you want that instead? Oh, okay, thanks, bro. But you know, I'm not even that hungry anymore. It's it's all right. But thank you, thank you. Yo, I almost forgot, bro. My homies are throwing a party next weekend, and they said I could bring one person. So you trying to slide? Yo, say less, bro. I'm there. <laughs> I'm gonna get lit. <laughs> I'm gonna get crunk. As oh, and the theme of the function is uh, Zest Fest. So uh, prepare to get zesty. <laughs> Honestly, don't know what their obsession is with lemon and limes. It's kind of weird, you know. Oh, zest from lemon and lime. I, I get it. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of weird, bro. Yeah. Anyways, you got any Skittles? Nah. Why do you want Skittles? I don't know. I'm just suddenly in the mood to taste the rainbow. <laughs> I think it's time that I come out with my secret. Yeah, I think I already know what it is, dog. I am gay. a serial killer. What? Yeah, you've probably already seen the signs for me, but I just had to say it straightforward, man. How many how many people have you like put down? People. What people? You said you were a serial killer. Yeah, I kill serials. What are you looking at? Huh? <laughs> what are you looking at, tough guy? Huh? What the fuck? Are you Yo, what you eating there, dog? Nothing. Really? Because to me, it looks like you're eating hot Cheetos. Maybe. Maybe not. Yo, can I get some? Nah. You good? I'm not even asking for a lot, bro. Just give me like two or three. Nah, I only got a little bit left. Because you ate the entire bag. I'm just here asking for one. I don't like being around you when you eat spicy food be getting aggressively violent i do not do you know why they call me spice because it's the main thing you can't handle yo watch out bro just give me the hot cheetos nah you could have this instead he's got 65 percent less salt all right bro be stingy i don't even care i'm not a picky eater <coughs> oh man not again bro i knew it i knew it. this doesn't even fit oh, dang <laughs> What kind of salt was that, bro? Ghost pepper? It's a potato chip, dog. Oh, dang, oh, it's kind of hot. It's spicy. Ah! Oh, oh. oh, it's spicy. Yo, my boy, you all right? Oh, it's so spicy. Oh, yes, officer, there's a man here. He had a little bit too much spice in his life. Yo, bro, have you played that new Fortnite season yet? Well, 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 wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. That's why I just asked. Well, if you must know for your information, I've literally been playing the new season of Fortnite since the day it came out. What's wrong with you, dog? The real question is, what's not wrong with me? Ah, uh, you could drop the Fortnite accent, dog. You were just talking regular like a week ago. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about, but if you insist that something has changed upon me, it's probably because I got three wins in Fortnite in a while. Aight, but that doesn't mean you gotta start acting like a weirdo, dog. You're turning into a loser. Am I the loser or are the real losers the one that loses in Fortnite battles in Woods Wake? I'm never playing Fortnite with you again, dog. And that's probably because you're bad at the game and you're too scared to beat me. How typical of you. I literally beat you in every game that we play. And that's probably because I'm I'm an OG Fortnite player, so we have to throw the match in order for the game to be fair. You're not an OG player, you just started playing a month ago. A month, a week, a day, it doesn't matter. An OG player is an OG player, no matter how OG they are. <laughs> that was so corny. <clears throat> horny, horny, what's the difference? Hi, Miss Johnson. Yeah, I'm talking to your son right now. Yeah, uh, quick question. How many chromosomes does he have? Chromosome, home alone, post malone. Who's calling my cell phone? Oh, wait, it's an OG Fortnite player, Wing Tom. Get out of my house. <laughs> Well, it seems as if I won this argument. Another day, another victory for the OG. Now you can leave. Yo, welcome to Burger King. Let me know your orders so I can order it. Yo, what's up? Um, ordering for me and my friends. I don't care. Just tell me your order. Right. Uh, let me get uh four cheeseburgers. Uh huh. Uh, five sides of fries. Uh huh. Uh, seven spicy whoppers. Uh huh. Uh, three four count chicken nuggets. Uh huh. And ten more cheeseburgers, but without the cheese, lettuce, or tomatoes. Uh huh. That will be all. All right. Your total is gonna be two dollars. Right, bet. Wait. <laughs> That's funny. I thought you said two dollars. I did. Uh, I think you put in the numbers wrong. Might want to recheck the calculator and put it back in. It's still two dollars. Nah, not just the fries. I mean, like everything on the order. It's gotta rack up to at least I don't know four hundred or something. Nah, it's all two. Two what? Dollars. All that on my order. It's two dollars. Yeah, it's only two dollars. Nah, I'm good. I'm sorry. Do you know how expensive beef and chicken is? Cause it's not two dollars. You're at Burger King. We have the cheapest prices in all of America. 
Nah. Nah, that's lemur meat. I beg your pardon? You know them little jits from Madagascar? That's what that's made out of. Sir, I can assure you that our food is not made out of lemur meat. I got a piece of chicken right here you can see for yourself. I mean, I guess it does look normal. King Julian! Nope. Yo, what did you get on the test from yesterday? I got a 94, man. Hey, let's go! What about you? What'd you get? Bro, I got a 49. Damn! I mean... Uh, it's not that bad. Now nah, the test be way too hard for me, man. The teacher got to take into account that I'm acoustic. I can't be taking the same test as everybody else. Dang, I'm sorry, yo. I didn't know. It's fine. I honestly had no idea you were acoustic. I never would have made those jokes if I'd known, dog. It's fine, bro, really. I just didn't tell nobody because, you know, I just be embarrassed sometimes. Nah, bro, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Everybody's different in their own ways, man. Thanks, dog. I really appreciate it. For sure, man. You know, it's funny, I've never really seen you ride the short bus before. Why would I ride the short bus? Because you're acoustic. And by the way, it's pronounced autism. I didn't want to correct you because, you know, I don't want to be mean. What made you think I have autism? Yo, I didn't mean to offend you by saying that word. I'll, I'll just say acoustic if you want me to. Did you think I was trying to say autistic when I said acoustic? Yeah, I, I thought it was a autism thing to say. I don't have autism, bro. I'm like 35% sure. Then what did you mean by acoustic? Yo, that's fire, dog. Hold on, let me try. Yo, I think I'm percussionist. Yo, what if we like try it at the same time? Low key, I'm down. I bet. Ready, set, go. Attack on Titan final episode got me balling my eyes, dog. You and me both, man, but don't be sad that it ended. Just be happy you got to experience it. <laughs> you right, you right. You know, top three anime of all time. Bro really wiped out 80% of the population just to save his friends. Yeah, that man was wilding out in the head, you know. I don't know. I just I just really feel like that means something, you know? Yeah, it was, it was a really good plot for the story. Nah, like real life. Like put his ideologies into our world. I just I just think he was onto something, you know? I don't think mass genocide is the lesson you're supposed to to take away from this you know what give me a real life issue what do you mean give me an issue like a big problem in today's society uh the homeless rates are really high this year yes of course homeless people there's so many of them and how do we solve that problem by creating a cheaper housing market wiping out 80 percent of the homeless population yo this ain't anime bro you can't just be destroying people like that You're right i have to go about this a different way yeah you go think about that i'm gonna go get myself a snack maybe like a honey bun or something wait say that again Mama, nama, 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 nom, nom. In English. I'm gonna go eat a honey bun or something. That's it. Scorching, piping, burning hot honey buns. What are you gonna do with them? I'm gonna warm them up until they reach 7,000 degrees. And then throw them at the homeless. How does that solve anything? If I use the honey bun to take out homeless people, there will be no more homeless people. What kind of 2 plus 2 equals 17 reasoning is that? But I'll leave 20% alive so they know what the honey bun could have done. You're a monster, dog. I may be, but it's for the greater good. Alright, class, once y'all finish that six-hour assignment that you guys have been working on for basically the entirety of the class, we can pack up our things and leave? No. I have another 20-page oh, booklet man. assignment for all Blame you guys. That teacher, bro. <laughs> yeah, lucky oh bastards. Uh, it is optional, but I highly advise that you all do... J Jason, where are you going? Home, but you didn't finish the assignments. Nah, I did. I've been finished. Even the 20 page optional booklet assignment that I just assigned? Nah, I didn't do that. Why did you not do the optional assignment? I don't know. Maybe because it's optional. Okay, but like, you can still do it. Why would I willingly choose to do something I don't have to do? Because it's like good for your brain and stuff. That's not the type of brain I'm trying to get. You know what I'm saying? Ahaha, <laughs> schlop, schlop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never kissed a girl before. Okay, but like, it could give you some extra practice, you know? Why would I need extra practice? Because you're an idiot! You're dangerously stupid. I? I'm not that dumb. You're the dumbest hoe in the class. I pray to God that you had special needs and you were put here by mistake. Because ain't no way somebody that slow is in my class. You got room temperature IQ. If you had done that 20 page optional assignment, your IQ levels may have gone up half a point. And even then, if we multiplied it by 32,000, it'd still be lower than the IQ of a hanger. Alright, that's where I draw the line. I don't like you dissing my IQ like that, dog. Spell IQ. L. Oh my gosh. Hey, Timmy, you wanna go watch a movie? Uh, no thanks, daddy. Alright, that's fine. Uh, daddy? Daddy, that da daddy, I'm trying to talk to you, daddy. <clears throat> yes, 
Yes, yes, Timmy. Instead of watching a movie, can we just go to the park and play basketball instead? You no, know, that's not a bad idea, Timmy. I didn't know you liked basketball. Yeah, I've always seen the other kids playing it, but I just didn't know how to. Listen, I got you. I'm gonna teach you everything I know, Timmy. Gosh, you wanna be the next LeBron James. Yes, this is the best day ever. I know I'm in good hands as long as I'm playing with you, Daddy. Daddy? Daddy, you are gonna play with me, right? Daddy. Daddy, will you please play with me? Don't! Don't, don't, don't call me that. Don't call you what, Daddy? That, you, 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 you can call me, you can call me Dad, or, or, or Father, or, or Pop Pop, you know? But Daddy, I always call you Daddy. And, and I think that, that needs to change. But why, Daddy? You're, you're my Daddy. You're, you're my Daddy. Hey, little bro, I ain't nobody's Daddy. Little bro, Daddy, you're not my bro. Daddy, you're my Daddy. <sighs> To me, just, just just call me something else, man. Okay. Uh, can we go to the park now, Poppy? How's it going, sir? Is there anything I can help you with today? Nah, I'm good. I was just roaming around. That's cool, man. If you need anything, I'll be right here. You know what? Now that I think about it, I do need a new iPhone for me to buy. Okay, was there any specific iPhone that you had in mind? Uh, G Willikers. I didn't really have anything in mind. You know, I didn't really plan on coming here to buy an iPhone today. You know, it's basically random off impulse, you know, just in the moment. Maybe the, uh, I don't know, iPhone 15 Max Pro with the double pixel bundle. Just coming off the top of my head, you know, I think that's what it's called or something. I don't know. No, it's cool. You know, some people just really into iPhones, I guess. Uh, how many gigabytes did you want? Ah, uh, gee willikers. You know, I didn't really have a specific number in mind off the top of my head. I don't know. Maybe, um, I don't, I don't know. Why don't I just set you off with 200 gigabytes, all right? You know, and now that I think about it, I may need a little bit more space than that. So you could just hit me up with, I don't know, 5,765. That's uh, that's an oddly specific number of gigabytes to request. Just came off the top of my head. Okay, all right. What kind of content do you have that's 5,765 gigabytes worth of storage? Sir, can you just give me my giggity giggity? I mean, uh, <laughs> uh gigabytes. Have we met before? Nah, I probably just have one of those giggity faces. I mean, uh, familiar, familiar faces. Do me a favor and tell me your favorite number. Mm -mm, can't do it. Sorry, don't have one. But if it's under 18, it's my cup of lean, giggity, giggity. Quad Meyer! Dang it! I thought I told you to never come back here! Then it's a good thing I came over there, giggity, giggity. <clears throat> oh. mm. Spicy. Mm. <clears throat> Do you have a problem? I don't. But you might. Uh, is, is your caretaker around? Is somebody I could call for you? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing. I just, I, I didn't know what you were doing. I'm eating a vegan hot dog, duh. But there's nothing there. Maybe that's because it's vegan. There's no meat. Or bread. <laughs> Come on, bro. This guy. You're probably a meat eater, aren't you? Yeah. Chicken, steak, eggs. I eat meat like a normal person. Oh, so I'm not normal because I like to eat vegetables? You're not normal because you eat like a Brachiosaurus. Oh my gosh, bro, you're such a carnivore. What did you just call me? I said you're a carnivore. I was thinking about mowing my lawn today, but since you're a vegan, why don't you just go and eat it for me and I'll give you $5. Yo, do we got beef? Nah, bro, we got plants. Plants? Plant these nuts in your mouth, little boy. Wow, that's how it is? That's how it is. I bet. Since you like meat so much, why don't you suck my dick? Alright, now you're doing too much. Take a step back, bro. Nah, if you like meat so much, why don't you come and eat mine? Or better yet, why don't I try yours? Now you want me to be normal, right? You want me to eat meat? So let me eat yours, huh? Nah, don't walk away now. I'm still hungry. Maybe I'll put a little bit of ketchup, sauerkraut, mustard. I went too far. Way too far. My fault. Oh, what up, dog? Hi. Oh, what happened? Do, do I have something on my face? Or? This is definitely a surprise to me, you know? You know, I... I, I didn't see it coming. Did you not know I was coming today or what? Like, I sent you a text. I'm a little lost. Right you know, now. when I think about it, I honestly should have known. I should have seen the signs way before. Wait, signs of what, dog? What, what are you talking about? I didn't know that you were gay. Whoa, how, how did you come to that conclusion? When you walked in the room and I said, what's up? You responded back and said, hi. Wait, you think I'm gay because I said hi? It's all right, dog. I accept you. Dog, I'm not gay. You don't need to worry, bro. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Well, how does me saying hi have anything to do with that? As a man, there's multiple phrases you could say to greet one another. Yo, hey, what's up, what's poppin', you know? Hi, bro, so what? Out of all of those options, you chose to say hi. And not just hi with one eye, you put three eyes at the end. Therefore, you like men! How can you even tell I said it with more than one eye? To be honest, I can't. But the hand wave you did at the beginning really sold me off. That was pretty zesty, dog. Oh my gosh, bro. Next you gonna tell me I'm gay because I use an umbrella when it's raining outside. You actually use an umbrella? You be sucking D on the D low, don't you? 
I always wonder what those big lips are for. Alright, bro, you need to chill out. Hey, don't look me up and down like that, dog. Just because you gay don't mean you get a free pass. Listen, bro. I'm not gay. Mm, are you sure? I like women. So just to be clear, you're not gay. I can assure you, I'm not gay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that makes one of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Richard, it looks as if all the paperwork has been properly filled out. So I'm happy to say that you are ready to go through with the adoption process. Yes, finally. Been waiting forever for this, man. I hope I'm not overstepping my boundaries by asking, but what made you want to adopt? Well, I've always wanted a kid, you know, but uh, I get no hoes. So it was either this or genetically engineer a baby into a Super Saiyan. But I'm broke too, so I just went with this. Nice, nice. Well, uh, you just sit tight here and I'll go get your baby. Whew, I'm nervous. Oh, good thing I picked out a baby that looks just like me. Nobody will be able to tell he's even adopted. All right, sir, I'm here with your baby. Thank you so much. Hey, little... What is that? What are you talking about? That, that's your baby. Wah, 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 wah. Nah, nah, that's a baby. That is not the kid they showed me in the picture. Sir, I can assure you that that's your baby. Nah, you guys probably misunderstood me or something. I said my baby, not... The baby. Wow, let's go. Sir, I understand he might look a little different from the picture. What you mean a little different? I asked for a baby. Y'all gave me an angry bird. All right, bro. Now you over exaggerated. Look at him. Ah! He looks fine to me. Then why don't you adopt him? Well, I, I, I can't just. Let, sir, it's not about me. Listen, listen. Take a look at that baby. You get to go home and put that baby in your arms and say, that's my baby. I want a refund. Yo, bro, do you believe in Paramount activists? Paramount activists. What? What is that? You know, like like ghosts and stuff. Like, ooh, spooky. You mean paranormal activity? That's literally what I just said. But okay. Hi, right, bro. What about it? Well, believe it or not, I I met one yesterday. You saw a ghost. Yeah, we actually became friends. Like he my homie now. Like we dogs for real. Like he he's a pretty cool guy. Like if you got to know him, I'm pretty sure you mess with him for sure. Yo, that's insane, bro. Gosh. So what's he like? Oh, he's like super chill, dog. Like. Like he's a really down to earth type of guy, you know? Uh, so like he just be acting like he one of the boys for real. Nah, like he's literally down to earth. Like he's always on the ground. I never seen him fly to be honest, but I never asked him about it because you know, it's not my place for oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. So like he, he got any cool powers or anything? Yeah, I think like, he's got like super brain powers or something because like he knows everything about history. Oh, so he could like look into the past and the future. That's cool. Nah, nah, just the past. But like more specifically, like the times during the Civil War and stuff, like he knows everything about slavery, dog. Like you can ask him any question about that and he'll answer on the dot, bro. Like he's crazy smart. Oh. I mean, you know, history is cool and all. Oh, and he yeah. also has, like, crazy drip, bro. Like, his style is insane. Okay, so, like, what's his style like? He's always dripped down head to toe and, like, all white. And he's got this cool white pointy hoodie that, like, turns into a mask. And it's, like, it's pretty cool. Like, he's like Batman for real. Oh, that, that that's an interesting style for a ghost. Yeah, and he's got a pretty cool name. Like, it's just one letter, just repeated three times. But I only say it once, so I just call him K. Uh, yeah, and he also invited me to, like, this cool rager he's having tonight at an abandoned farm field. And he said, if I have any friends that have my complexion, to bring him along. So you could come too if you Does want. Does this ghost have a nickname for you? Yeah, he says it all the time. Uh, I forgot. Uh, it starts with the N. Rhymes with bigger. He's not a ghost. Yo, make sure you hit up Jason and Marcus so we can run a 2v2 hoop session at the park later. Jason can't come, you know that. Well, duh, of course I know that. He told me the stories. He never really was good at finishing. Wait, no, I didn't mean it like that. I meant he can't come to the park. I mean, why would he want to do that at the park? That's kind of inappropriate, dog. You know there's kids Meaning there. Meaning Jason can't play basketball with us. Wait, why? Did he get hurt or something? Wait, you seriously didn't know? No, what? Jason went to prison. No way, dog. Since when? He just got his sentence like two weeks ago. Ain't no way, bruh. What do you do? Jason committed aggravated assault. Like seriously? I know, like, bro. I couldn't believe it either that Jason would do something like that. Like, like, like real aggravated assault, and they they sent him to prison for that. Yeah, man, that's what his parents said. Nah, bro. Now nah, I'm going to jail, dog. Oh my, nah, I need. Oh, don't tell me you did the same thing too, dog. I mean, it wasn't the exact same thing, but it was pretty much spot on, dog. Instead of aggravating assault, I aggravated a pepper, bro. Are, are you being for real right now or are you just just joking i'm being so for real right now dog the other day i was making a sandwich and i had all the ingredients ham turkey lettuce tomatoes and then i saw the pepper on the side and i don't really mess with peppers like that so i looked at it and i was like Screw that pepper, man! And I kicked that hole all the way back to the garden, dog. There's no possible way that you're serious right now. I mean, I never aggravated assault like Jason, but that pepper looked pretty aggravated to me, man. Yeah, bro, that's uh, that, that's not the same thing. Wait, so so you mean like I'm not going to jail? Nah. Solitary confinement, my boy. You going to prison? Oh hell, nah, bro. It's over for you, dog. There's nothing you could do I didn't now. Mean it like that? It was an accident, man. 
What's up, Doc? Ah, you must be Bugs Bunny. Oh, wrong way. Nah, that's my cousin. I'm Insect Rabbit. Well, it's nice to meet you, Gary. So today is gonna be very simple. That's not my name. I said I'm Insect Rabbit. Whatever you say, Larry. So I'm just gonna do a quick checkup and I'll get you out of here in no time. I bet. So I wanna say things have been going pretty well, but to be honest, it's been pretty rough. Harry, I'm not checking up on you. I'm giving you a checkup, like, like an evaluation. Oh, okay. All right, my fault. So, like, you want to talk about your feelings first? Harry, or? have you ever actually gotten a checkup before? Nope. Oh, okay. So, like, so like never, never? Nah, I've never been to a doctor before. I don't even know what's supposed to happen. That's why I'm always saying, what's up, doc? Because it's my first time. Okay. All right. Should I have done some, like, research before I came here? I, I can go back and do it right now. Nah, nah, nah. You're fine. You're fine. You can stay here. I'll just, uh... Do what I normally do. I bet. What's first? Just gonna have you open wide for me real quick. Ah, uh, like that. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's perfect. Per that's that's perfect. That's perfect. I right, was next. Just gonna check your heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Uh, says what? <laughs> says here you uh, you, you gotta drop your pants. Uh, bro, what? I know, right? <laughs> it also says you gotta bend over, cough three times, lock the door, and sign an NDA so you can't speak about anything that happens in this room. <laughs> What? <laughs> Yo, I'm not doing that. What? Bro, that's crazy. I know, right? <laughs> I think you better listen. You're not a doctor, are you? Nope. Bro, you were in your room for hours, dog. What were you doing all this time? I was just binge watching my new favorite television show. Oh my gosh, bro. Not again, dog. Would you like to take a guess on what show I was watching? Not today, bro. Please, not today. If it's too hard for you to guess, I'll just give you a hint. It rhymes with Scottish cheese. Yo, mom. Yeah, yeah. Come pick me up, dog. Yeah, you were right, bro. It was Peppa Pig. That didn't even rhyme with the word you said. That's because it was a trick question. Trick questions are supposed to be related to the main answer. Well, maybe you were just too stupid to understand the joke. I thought jokes were supposed to be funny. Humor is subjective. You're such a weirdo, dog. It takes one to know one. You're never getting a girlfriend. You know that, right? Well, that's quite funny coming from the person whose only physical encounters with women are when he walks by a group of them and they stare at you and say ew you just want to get punched in the face don't you huh? oh i wish you would i'll just call my best friend susie she does it look like i care do it i don't care i dare you to do go it go ahead and say hello to my best friend susie sheep i said say hello what up susie say it properly hello susie sheep how are you doing today yo bro you trying to get some chipotle chipotle <laughs> Shit, I would, but like, I'm not trying to get noticed by any of my fans today, bro. I'm just trying to keep it low key. What are you talking about? You're not on anybody's radar. You're basically invisible. That means I'm doing my job right. Yes, yes, gotta stay invisible, bro, or else the fans are gonna heckle out, bro. They go go crazy, bro. Bro, the only fans you got are the one on your ceiling, and they don't even work. Yo, keep your voice down, bro. Gosh. Fans are gonna hear you. You're not Drake, bro. Stop acting Hollywood. Man, Drake wishes he was me. Remember when I commented under that guy's post on TikTok yesterday? <laughs> Got like 12 likes. 12 likes. Hey, don't say the number too much, bro. You gonna wear it out. 12. I see more people at a kindergarten birthday party, bro. Hey, man, haters gonna hate. It's all part of the fame. Next thing you know, I'm gonna have clout chasers, but it's high. You gotta have clout to have clout chasers. You don't have clout. You have drought. Your phone is so dry, I can start a fire just by looking at it. You can hate on me if you want, but you can't hate on the results. Hey, yeah. You're a loser, bro. You know that? You lame as hell, dog. I'm out of here, bro. I'm pretty sure that comment you posted yesterday got like 15 likes. Bro, keep it down, bro. The fan's gonna hear you. My bad, bro. You right, you right, you yes, right. Yes, sir. I got money on my chest. Bro, you're never gonna guess what I just got. Obtuse, rubber goose, green moose, guava juice, giant snake, birthday cake, large fries, chocolate shake. Why do you do this to yourself? Just watch Friendly Odd Parents. Thought it'd be funny. It wasn't. So what'd you get? I got us Mario Kart, bro. Yo, that's fire, dog. Wait. Wait, this is only for the Wii. How are we supposed to play this? Aw, oh, man, you're right. Guess it's a good thing I got us a Nintendo Wii. Wii! Yo, you need to stop doing that, bro. Stop. Stop. You're not funny. Hey, man, haters gonna hate. That don't mean I gotta stop. I'm not a hater. In fact, I'm your number one supporter, and the fact that I'm hating on you means that you're doing something wrong. Wait a minute. There's two controllers. Who's gonna be playing the game? What do you mean? It's us. Don't you mean Wii? Stop. If there are two French guys. What? If there are two French guys who don't understand any English and they each have a Nintendo Wii and they both want to give it to you, how do you respond? 
I don't know. Wee wee. I'm done. Yo, bro, you uh notice anything different? Nah, you're just about as ugly as you were yesterday. I was talking about what I was wearing. I mean, I can say the same thing about your clothes. You never really did have a good sense of style. You dress like you go shopping with your eyes closed. My shoes, bro. I got new shoes. Dang, bro. Those are nice, bro. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm the only person in the school with these black cats. Yeah, black cats. You know, those... Those are really expensive. How did you afford it? You don't have a job. I mean, I didn't buy it. It was it was a gift from my dad. You know, I got good grades, so just wanted to reward me. On a teacher's salary? Yeah, you know, he, he just saved up a lot because, you know, that he knew that meant a lot to me. So that that's what he that's, did. That's uh that's a lot of savings. You know, this is the same guy who said McDonald's was too expensive. I guess, you know, probably he just probably had a change of heart, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me the shoe. We're in school right now. I take it off. Okay, look, you see, it's right here. All right, now, all right. I'll see for myself. All right, looks decent at first. Both logos check out. The tongue is exactly 4.6 inches. Stitching, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 right? Exactly 24.7655438.9 inches of stitching. This one checks out. Good job. Thank God. I mean, of course it did, bro. I knew it would. Yeah, whatever. I'll catch you later, dog. <laughs> Smells like. 0.007% cotton. Those are supposed to be 0.0071% cotton. Those are fakes. No, what? Bro? Nah, bro. They're, they're not. They're not fakes. They're, they're 1240 Southwest Burberry Lane. Isn't that your grandma's address? If you love her enough, you'll turn around, walk away, keep your mouth shut, and pretend this conversation never happened. <laughs> sad day isn't it yes indeed it is my fellow good sir it is a sad day indeed you know what today is right it's monday nah, bro it's 9 11 oh yeah yeah you're right i, I just forgot for a second dang man oh, such a dreadful day man i said we have a five minute moment of silence and remembrance of all those lives lost that day of course how could we forget all those brave men that sacrificed their lives on the battlefield to end slavery wait what that's not 9 11 that was the civil war oh, yeah yeah you're right you're right i just forgot for a second it just slipped my mind sometimes Sometimes I confuse the two together, you know? Yeah, you know, it happens to the best of us. But let's just have our moment of silence. Yes, yes, moment of silence. In remembrance of what that awful Austrian painter guy did to all those Jewish people. Bro, that's the Holocaust. Oh, I, I, I mixed it up with something else. I was... All the lives lost on the day the people were looking for the One Piece. You don't know what 9-11 is, do you? No idea. I thought you were talking about 7-11 and you just got the numbers wrong. How do you not know what 9-11 is, bro? You were alive at that time. I don't know, bro. I just remember I was taking flying lessons that day. Flying lessons? Yes, bro. Back in 2001, these guys were trying to show me how to fly an airplane. But it was almost as if they wanted me to fail because on my first day, they told me to try to land the plane in between these two buildings. I'm like, bro, I'm obviously going to fail, bro. This is my first time doing this. It's crazy, bro. You know that guy you were looking for? I found him. Bro, me and my girl had the funniest night ever, dog. Wow. <laughs> can't be that funny. Nah, it was actually funny, bro. I was like, yo, you want to hear a joke? And she was like, of course I want to hear a joke. You're like the funniest man on earth. And I was like, knock, knock. And then she said, who's there? And then I was like, me? Yeah, that's comedy gold. So, uh... When are you gonna break up with this girl? What kind of question is that? We've been together for almost two years and everything's fine between us. Why would we break up? I'm just saying, bro, like, 
You don't think that age gap between y'all is a little weird? How is it weird? She's only one year younger than me. I don't know, man. Maybe just me, but 19 and 18 seems a bit off. I worry about my relationship and you worry about yours. Speaking of yours, how's it going with that girl you were talking to? You know, it's actually going pretty good, bro. I just found out that there's like a 20 year age difference. How do you just find out about a 20 year age difference? I don't know, bro. She just didn't look her age. Dang, bro. I didn't know you had a thing for older girls. Older? <laughs> Who said anything about her being older? How is there uh how, how how is there a 20 year age difference if you're 19? Let me just show you a picture, bro. There she is. You know, I could have sworn she was older than me. I don't know. I guess she's just very mature for her age. 911, what's your emergency? That's right. Put all the money in the bag. Nice and slow. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm getting robbed. <laughs> I don't want to die. Do everything I say and you'll be just fine. Yo. Oh, thank God. I said yo. Yo, I'm talking to you. I know you hear me. Yo, it's good. Are you uh trying to rob the store? Nah, I'm collecting money for charity. So you expect me to believe that you're at the cash register collecting money for charity? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's very nice of you, dog. You know, there's not that many people trying to get back to the community. So it's nice to see someone just step up for a change. You yeah, know? you know, I just like giving back. And, you know, just between you and me, I don't even do it for the hoes. You know, I just do it because that's just the type of guy I am, you that's know. good, bro. Good for you. So what charity is it? Uh, it's for cancer, bro. You know, yeah, charity for cancer. Dog. You got a charity supporting cancer? Nah, that's not what I mean. What is wrong with you? Man, I mean, like, money to give cancer to patients. Wait, no, oh, I mean. Hell, no. You giving cancer to people? Now, stay away from me, bro. You got it twisted. Stay away. I don't give people cancer. I love cancer. I mean, I mean people. I... Oh. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I found Satan. I'm not exactly sure what I should do right now. Hello, my name is the Australian Amazonian Jungle Boy back at it again with another video. And today we're going to be talking about rule number 337 about living in the wild, being knowledgeable about knowing how to escape quicksand, okay? So when you get yourself into a quickie situation, <laughs> I like to use that term every once in a while, you're going to want to stay calm and not, not, not really move around too much. You're just going to want to wiggle your way out, just, just smooth and softly, all right, guys? Just smooth and softly just like how i'm saying right now bro what are you doing yo, yo what's good what's up what's up dog yeah i'm not doing anything i'm just, just chilling bro i'm just relaxing and vibing you were watching those tutorials on how to escape quicksand again weren't you and what if i was you're never gonna encounter that situation you're more likely to not get shot by cops on sight than fall into quicksand actually i'm sorry i didn't know it was a crime to be prepared prepared for what you live in the suburbs worst thing that could happen to you is forgetting to cut your grass and what if there was quicksand in the grass huh what are you gonna do nothing because you don't know how to get out because you didn't watch the videos then, well, go on and watch your stupid quicksand videos you're still always gonna be a loser i'd rather be a loser than a dummy who died in quicksand forget you bruh ring finger you gonna ring finger me <laughs> i right, watch this <laughs> ring finger <laughs> get the hell out my face dummy yeah whatever bro i'm gonna do my own thing what is this? Oh, it, it, is that quicksand? <laughs> oh, I bet you wish you watched those videos now, huh? Who, who's the loser now? <laughs> you wish this was you, huh? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I, I mean, <clears throat> yo, what's good? What do you want, man? I was just walking around with the gangy gang gangs and uh, word on the street is you got that stuff. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Come on, man. I know it's you. You're... The guy. Nope, wrong person. Nah, you're definitely the guy. The gangy gang gangs were just telling me that you're the guy. I'm not that guy, pal. I'm not that guy. Stop playing games, bro. Just hook a guy up. Aren't you that guy that hands out the perk 30s? Make sure you speak up when you answer that question. Yo, can you go back to your little police station and stop wasting my time? Police station? Why would a regular hood guy like me go to a police station? I'm just a regular old hood gangy gang gang hood guy that belongs on the streets like you. You got a wire hanging out your shirt. Nah, this is not a wire. I am partially autistic and this is what I use to call my caretaker in case I autisize. Why do you have a police badge on your belt? This is a fake police badge. I wear it so I can imitate cops and steal drugs from the police station. No way. So you're telling me you're that guy that dresses up as police officers and steals drugs from the police station and sells them to minors? Yeah, that's all me, bro. That's uh, that's just the type of guy I am. Yeah, we got him. This is definitely the guy we've been looking for. Sir, get on the ground and put your hands behind your back. Wait, what? 10-4? Yeah, I'm going to need backup. The big black monkey's not complying. Sir, I said get on the ground. Hey, I'm a cop too, bro. I'm just like you, dog. I need backup immediately. I think he's trying to a lot of weapons sir i said get on the ground i'm just trying to get out my badge look look i'm, I'm just like you
Bro, you know what I really miss? What? The early 2000s era. Okay, I kind of miss it too, bro. It was, a, it was a pretty good time to be alive, you know? Pretty good. <laughs> it was the best time to be alive, bro. Everything about that time period was pitch perfect. The TV shows, the commercials, the food, everything, the toys. It doesn't matter. If it was from the 2000s, it was just perfect, bro. Don't even get me started on those early 2000s holidays as a kid, bro. You just put a different type of feeling inside your stomach, you know, that just made you want to, mm, you know what I'm saying, bro? Just, mm, mm. Just made you wanna mm. You know what I'm saying, bro? Everything you said was mad relatable, bro. Except for that last part. I don't I don't know what that was. Yes, it was just the best period of time in my life. Yeah, uh-huh. Alright, let's go get something to eat, bro. You know what I also miss? Nah, and I don't care. I'm just trying to go eat. The early 2010s era, bro. Everything about that time period was just pitch perfect. It's probably the best time to be alive. You Knowing the best time to be alive was for me? That time when I was eating. Oh wait, no. It didn't happen yet, so let's go do it so I can experience it for the first time. You know what else I miss? I'll tell you what I don't miss, <laughs> being hungry. The 2020 era, quarantine, all of it, bro. It was so good, bro. Probably one of the best times to be alive. Yeah, except for the fact that not many people were alive. So let's let's go eat so we can mourn about their lives. I guess that was just the best period of time of my life. You know what, bro? You're just too focused on the past. You keep reminiscing about everything. You just gotta live in the present, bro. Enjoy the moment. I hear you, dog. That's some good advice. Yeah, you're welcome or whatever. Now let's go eat. You know what I miss? No! The 2023 era and that time where you gave me a lecture about not reminiscing about the past and just focusing on the present. Gosh, man, what a time to be alive. I guess it was just the best period of time. Uh, let's 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 go eat. I basically stole this from the bowling alley back in 19. Ooh. Ow! Did I did I drop that on on your foot? Nah, I was just singing my new song called Ow. Dang, I didn't know you make music. How does it go? Well, like this. Ow! 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 That song is fire, bro. I didn't make that song. I said Ow because you dropped the bowling pin on my foot, man. You'll be all right. So you're just not gonna say sorry for causing me immense pain on my lower body? Pain is only an illusion, bro. What kind of apology is that? I'm just saying it's all in your mind, bro. It only hurts because you want it to hurt. What I want is to smack you across the face until you turn into the leprechaun from the Lucky Charm cereal box. That's impossible, bro. I can't turn into a leprechaun. Then I guess I'll keep hitting you. You're overreacting, bro. It didn't hurt that bad. Bro, where are you going? I'm gonna fire my cannonball at you. Nah, bro, you're taking it too far, dog. Nah, you'll be alright. You won't feel anything if you don't think about it. I'm not gonna be thinking at all if you hit me with a cannonball. You'll be fine. Pain is an illusion, right? Nah, nah, I, I got it mixed up. I, I meant pain is reality. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Just make sure I'm aiming it right. Hold on. You're not gonna shoot me. Yeah, yeah, you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do Countdown it. Countdown in five, four, three, two, one. Ah! All right, come on, bro. You know what time it is? Yes, sir. It is 37:48. Exactly. Wait, nah. I was gonna say it's time to get to work. That's not even a real time, bro. You need to get your watch fixed. Time to get to work with what? It's time to post a skit. Come on, bro. You know the drill. We do at least one every day of the year. So what's what's the idea for today? Oh, okay. All right. Bet, bet, bet. I got nothing. What do you mean? I mean, I got nothing. Come on, bro. There's a limitless amount of things and experiences you can do a video about, dog. Just get to roll. I don't think you're listening. There's nothing left. That's impossible, bro. You couldn't have done everything. The education system might as well replace every single history book with my videos. That's some really good sunlight because I've done a vid on every single experience you could ever experience. Heck, the students might even get a better grade by looking at me. All right, now you're just doing too much, bro. I bet you didn't do a video about not being hungry until something good is offered. Already did it. What about broke people trying to have fun in the summer? Already did it. Over-exaggerating every situation to the bros. Already did it. How Superman gets away with crimes. Already did it. Trying to raise up a girl without a haircut. Already did it. Interrogating an owl. Already did it. When the wrong person gets superpowers already did it little kids crying about stuff that won't affect them in the future already did it wanting to be the hero in a school shooting already did the it problem with wearing jewelry in public already did it making excuses not to go out with your friends already did it friend that never pays you back already did it the pov of living as a cockroach already did it i stay of no nut november already did it when you fart and it makes a different sound than expected already did it having a racist ben 10 watch already did it turning over a pillow but both of the sides are hot already did it a bird getting hit with a rock already did it getting your head stuck in a box already did it touching grass already did it the color yellow already did I was joking. That's the one.